With biophilia, humans have an innate connection to nature. We seek out nature. And Phipps has been integrating that into all the work that they do. Phipps opened in 1893, and it's still one of America's premier public gardens. We've been connecting people to nature for over 125 years. We just never connected the dots to our buildings. When we started the design for the Center for Sustainable Landscapes, we were pursuing the Living Building Challenge, which is the most rigorous green building standard in the world. We incorporated some biophilic elements, things like connections to nature and views of nature. But it wasn't until after we finished construction that we realized that there was so much more that we could have done with this whole idea of biophilic design. When we started our next design project, we decided to incorporate biophilic design workshops in the design process, and we did that about midway through the design. That got us really excited about the incredible potential there is with biophilia. By the time we got to this project, we asked ourselves, well, what would happen if we incorporated biophilic design from day one and used that as a primary focus for the design of that project? Mellon Park was originally the estate of the R.K. Mellon family, and after it was given over to the city as a park, it functioned as a venue for most of our adult education programs, and we are in the process now of trying to essentially do an adaptive reuse of that entire building. We're also going to be pursuing the Living Building Challenge, LEED Platinum, Well Platinum, and Sites Platinum for the project. We decided to follow a very intense integrative design process to make that happen. So if you look up in the dictionary the word to integrate. An integrative process requires seeing every aspect of that building and its site and its place as all deeply interrelated. So we had scheduled for this project five workshops. Part of that. Biophilic design is the intentional fostering of human nature connection in the built environment. What we're really trying to do is to look at potential. Biophilic design is intentionally doing things with the design to put people back in a, a meaningful relationship with nature. It's an emerging field, but uh, it's an incredibly important concept. I've been working as a designer for over 20 years. And my experience has been that with the majority of our projects, the theory of biophilia has very much been an afterthought or kind of a checklist mentality. Historically, buildings have evolved to create a barrier between the human occupants and nature. Biophilia starts to try and reestablish that connection. And the way to interact we invite the participants to reconnect to nature in a very focused way. I like to lead the participants through mindfulness walks around the site. And the whole idea is that they're really awakening their senses to remember what it feels like to be outside. What is the science telling us? It's telling us that our bodies are profoundly and directly influenced by exposure and time around nature's patterns. The whole idea is to understand what is our role in, in nature as a part of nature? We're not separate from nature. The intense focus on biophilia absolutely changed the way conversations happened and the way that people thought about the building. It's not just about what can we create with the building, but what does the site offer up? It was great to actually pay special attention to that. Yeah. Experiential biophilic design workshops transform the will of the team to come up with more innovative ways to connect people to the natural environment. I don't know how to explain it. It's a spiritual awakening. It does open up um, something mentally that allows you to really reach further. I think that can relate to more research. We start to get to this really organic, rich, problem-solving design thinking that is all centered around cultivating human nature connection. It was really interesting to see the changes from workshop to workshop, how our thinking has evolved and how the architects merge nature with the indoor environment. Our job through this process and through a focus on biophilic integration 
is to acknowledge all those levels and layers upon which we're interdependent with the world around us. There is a page called Together Again. It's the outdoor walled garden space and the interior botanic arts gallery looking as if it's one space. And that, I think, really sums up a lot of what we're trying to accomplish in the project. The entire design has changed dramatically from what I originally expected, and it's all linked back to this idea of connecting us to nature. Everyone can understand the song of a bird, the awe of a sunset, of an amazing space. It transcends political boundaries, culture, and time. It unifies us. The opportunity wouldn't exist without the owner and initial sort of seed of inspiration to say, we can do this. And it's essential that it's really led by the owner. The best place to incorporate biophilic design is at day one. Start the project with that intention and it will have an incredible impact leading up to the, an incredibly beautiful and wonderful finished product.